Hi, I'm Grant Dixon from Fishing News. We're out here today with the latest Kingfisher. This one here is a 450 power cat. These come in a number of versions. We've got center console, like the one we're sitting in, as well as side console. And like all boats, you can bling them up as much as you like. This one here is the company's demonstrator, and it's a real cracker. I'm a great fan of these smaller boats. They are easy to use, easy to launch for one person, really safe. This one, running it through uh, earlier today, this bit of wind against tight, very, very comfortable. And it, it passed the backometer test. Okay, starting at the front, we've got the casting platform and up there we've got the Haswing electric motor. Now these are a great unit, they're not expensive, uh, but they're great for when you are lure fishing, holding you over the fish, moving you along uh, the side of a reef and stuff like that. Uh, you'll see there we've got a Garmin up the front as well as a Garmin here on the centre console. So if you're fishing up the front, you don't have to keep running down off the casting platform to see where the fish are hiding. Okay, over here we've got a brand new unit um, it's where Railblazer have partnered with Garmin and it basically gives you another scanning unit. Okay, I think it's called Live Scan. To be honest, I haven't used it yet and uh, well, that'll do for another day. Anyway, the centre console, we've got the Bimini top. Um, at the top there's four rod holders and uh, it's not too bad a height, I can reach it. Um, in fact, there's 14 or 15 rod holders around the boat on the gunnels, back here on the filleting board and up the front. You'll also see up the front here, we've got it on the casting platform a bolster. So you can either lean against it or lean back on it and it gives you security when you're up on the casting platform and tossing around those big poppers and heavier top water lures. Uh, you don't need a lot of horsepower to run these boats. On the back here we've got the very economical Yamaha Four Stroke 70 um, and we've come over here from Sandspit and we've only used a few cutfuls of fuel. It's, um, I've been quite surprised by it. But anyway, seating. Our centre seat, uh, captain seat here. This is one of a number of options you can use. There's ones that can use them as a chilli bin. And at the back here also we've got two rear seats that you can have your passengers. Great place for park the kids so they're safe when you're going along. Bait station take centre stage here uh, in the cockpit and uh, in the top you've got your filleting board and uh, underneath that you've got quite a good sized live bait tank. I would suggest that you'd probably get a good 20, 30 medium sized Jack Max in that uh, and underneath is your battery so it's not nice and compact. Okay, being a cat, one of the key features is its stability. Just before, the cameraman and I were both on the same side and it hardly even moves, you know, which, is, which is really good, uh, especially if you're walking around the boat and uh, doing a lot of casting, as I said, with heavier gear. Our dash, nice big dash here. Pl plenty of room for, for all the electronics you need, nice big Garmin screen there, You've got your stereo, all your switches and a phone charger, which is really important to have that second means of communication when you're out fishing. VHF of course down here. Well, basically that's it. Uh, the boat uh, has come through the wrap and on the floor you've got U-Deck, which is really very comfortable. If you're on your feet all day, uh, it helps take some of the pain away. And it's also, uh, it also keeps the noise down. And another thing is, uh, it gives you really good grip. So it just sets the boat off nicely. While we didn't need them because we didn't get out of bed early enough this morning, Narva have put a whole set of marine lights through the boat with forward facing spots. Uh, you've got your flood light here for the cockpit, you've got under gunnel lights and you've got the bait lights um, at, at the transom. So really well lit up this boat and, and very practical. In wrapping up this short review, I can only say that these boats are really capable. I've seen photographs with swordfish and billfish alongside them. So if you're into offshore and want to do it uh, in economy mode, you've got a great rig here to do it. And if you just want to take the kids around the bay to catch a few snapper, it's great too. Trout fishing would be good fun on this, whether you're a troller or, or like your fly fishing, 
the boat caters for both. It's really a great little rig. I've really enjoyed my day on it.